for those of you who haven't been to the great streets of downtown Sharon as of late, this is a reason to do it, especially if you're of age and cigars or something that you take interest in. We're here at Penn, Ohio, and we have George, the owner, here with us today. So, George, hi. How are you? Lauren? I'm good. good I'm to good. See you again. Nice to see you too. We've been talking about being able to catch up yes. and uh, bring this story to our viewers for a couple of years now, and I'm yeah. so happy to see you. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you guys coming out here. It's very nice of you. No problem. No problem. Um, for people that have never been here, walking into your store, walking into this shop, it's sort of like a, a walk back in time. The details of the shop, everything that you have here, obviously makes you feel like home. Makes you feel like you want to stay. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, no, we, we like them to stay. We just like them to leave too, you know, <laughs> at night, you know. But uh, that, I appreciate that. We 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 went to the old tobacco store the way they used to be. It's only cigars, cigar accessories, pipes, pipe tobacco, pipe accessories. No lottery, no cigarettes, no no bulk tobacco, um, and and it just changes. It just changes the um, guys will hang in here because there's two different smells in, in the smoke you know right. what I mean so it makes it a little easier now after this many years it's it's kind of where they hang out uh, you know they've got they're in my chair and my what's left that it was right. mine before isn't mine anymore you don't have you a know, chair anymore. not have a chair we anymore had to, we had to pull this one <laughs> in for make you shut the door so yeah. you need to have a place yeah. to sit yeah. Um, when you say uh, the simplicity of what it is that you offer, a lot of businesses think that they have to continue to grow, have to continue to evolve, have to continue to you know grow with the customer, and you've done a really good job of staying in your lane. We did. We stay, yeah, That's a good way to put it. We did stay in our lane, but the reason being is this was a hobby for me. I was working full time, so I would come over here. It was easy. My father used to smoke cigars, and my brother-in-laws, uh, I have five brother-in-laws, and a bunch of them, a couple of them smoke cigars, and that kind of thing. And when we we had a store in Niles for a while, mm -hmm. and then we expanded because during the boom, I had some licensing with different companies that nobody could get at that time because you, you'd already had them, and they weren't adding any more because they couldn't keep up with the demand. So I just kind of went with that. And then in 2012, I got kind of lucky, and uh, somebody, they bought my insurance business out, and uh, and then they gave me some place to go because I, I was too young to retire. Kind yeah. of, uh, you know. So it makes it a little different now. I can do. So the things that people are going to notice that are, if for guys that are cigar aficionados and women that really um, take a liking to this your selection out there. I mean, this is not something that comes together in one day. Like, this takes years to learn yes. and to understand. Yeah, it does. It does. And, and the magazine at one time when that boom was going on was the size of a Spiegel catalog, and now it's, it's you know, because smoking is taboo everywhere. Right. we got our own little niche. Right. And, and because of that, I think that, uh, uh, you know, you, you you know stay in business you just stay on top of things you know I mean you got to try to understand how to run your business and I think we're learning we've learned along the way you know it's just stayed steady and we didn't change very much you know what's your favorite part about coming here um, uh, same guys all the time I mean it's amazing it's just I mean there's guys after 25 years 26 years that are the same guys same guys get up and get out of their seats when they come it's the truth it is the truth they come out of their seats oh George is here and this guy will get up and go sit over here because this guy's sitting over it's just it just becomes a habit it's like being at home right you know right. it really is it's funny you know you're sitting in your father's chair he comes home you get out of his chair <laughs> I, have, I have to admit you know the chairs and the ambiance within um, just the experiences you walk through the shop uh, you really paid a lot of attention to different uh, details that most people wouldn't even think of doing. I mean, just the door coverings and the sconces and the feel of it. Is that uh, all you or who did who did that? No, uh, yeah, it was. I did it with the help of uh, carpenters and, and right. uh, you know painters and guys like that who you know I've had over the years that, are, that did a great job. But we you know we designed it, you know and that brick is like 1864. This building was built, so you know we polished up the brick and that, that kind of thing. You know and and. And I, I, I think that the, what's gone on is we just, with the same guys, and you know, I mean, I'm very lucky. Most of the guys that work for me have been here a long time, and they're not working because they're earning a living. They're retirees, they write their schedule, and they're the old school guys that went to work. When we open at 10 o'clock, they're here five after nine. That I don't suffer the employee issues of maybe a Dunkin' Donuts where you go in and don't see the same person 
and, and, and very fortunate with that as you wind down, because there's nothing I wouldn't do for them. They're, that's what makes us work. I mean, the, the employees have been steady, and, and they cover each other, and it's pretty nice. It really is, uh, you know. I think it's remarkable, and for people who just want to, you know, take a take a trip out here to downtown Sharon, and see these beautiful streets, and you know, hang out with really good people. Tell everybody yeah. where you're located and the phone number in case they want to get a hold of you. We're at 91 East State Street in Sharon, Sharon, PA, and it's uh, 330. Oh, no, I'm wrong. 724. <laughs> Uh, three four two two three six six. I never call her. <laughs> I never call her. I was giving the cell phone number. <laughs> yeah, I was giving my cell phone number. <laughs> what he was do. Yeah, it was. George, always a pleasure to Thanks, see you, Laura, and we wish you guys it. continued success Thanks in the middle much. of the COVID nineteen outbreak. You guys seem to be figuring way through it, which we is are. a testament to clients and to good management. Yes. Thanks so, very much. I appreciate the compliment. Thank you. Thank you very much.